Doing well, to be honest with you. They, um, on their hand, did play the Olympics, uh, but didn't really get their game going. The uh, attacking game that won them uh, the All England title back in uh, 2020. Finished second in the group and um, were dependent on a good draw. They didn't get one. Lost in the quarterfinal to John Siwei and uh, Huang Ya Chong. At, um, Tokyo uh, Olympics. And then this year they finished uh, runners up in the uh, Thailand Open. In the uh, Thailand uh, bubble, the first tournament there, lost the final to Dechepan and Sapsire. Here is uh, Jordan with a uh, noticeable strapping on his. Um, Left knee and uh, in black. I don't know, is it black or blue? Uh, but uh, definitely in uh, darker colors. Warden Halimov and Kamina Tavietova. With them. Uh, met once before, that was in uh, India, we went back in 2019. And, uh, so, Indonesians are only going to have three games. So, Halimo and Dangeto are chose to start on the uh, far side of the court, playing a bit with the drift. And I think in the next doubles, you, it's important to be able to kill the shells. So I think that um, uh, to uh, try and get a good start against the um, two Indonesians. So, in Jordan, born in Pontan, uh, in uh, East Kalimantan, currently uh, ranked fourth in the world. Also born in England with. Debbie Susanta back in 2016. Here is his uh, current partner, Lati Deva Octavianti. And it's a one of the colleges west of uh, Jakarta. She won the World Junior Championship gold back in uh, 2012 in the mixed doubles with uh, Eddie Subakcha. They formed the partnership back in January 2018 at the Malaysian Masters. As we uh, turn our attention to Rodion Alimov, both he and uh, his partner is uh, from uh, Ufa in uh, the Republic of Bashkortostan, situated between uh, Kazan and uh, Chelyabinsk. Six foot one is he, and uh, a bit taller than uh, his partner here, Alina Tavietova, as I mentioned. Together won the uh, European Junior Championship gold back in uh, 2017, 23 years of age. Both of them had um, huge talents in uh, mixed double. But, um, on an occasion or two, criticised Alimov a little bit for not being in. Um, Exactly the shape that I feel is uh, necessary to perform well at the international level, but definitely in uh, those uh, European Championships. So, Clemson on service judge David Evans and Reza Roshan Umit. Iran is uh, our umpire for this last match in the team tie between. Indonesia and the National Balance Federation of Russia.
John and Oxford Nancy. They had the four titles together for the ten finals in England 2020, Sea Games, French Open, and Denmark Open in 2019. Smash from Corey Jordan, perhaps um, the most dangerous smash in uh, all of mixed double. Fantastic uh, shot maker. When uh, the wind blows his way, when it blows against him, there's, uh, there's also a lot of mistakes uh, in his game. Um, as I sit here watching this match, I um, and so we get this feeling that uh, Jordan and Adimov, they could sort of like be uh, a kind of badminton brothers because they have some of the same skills, um, both a really, really good eye for the game. Uh, Adimov hits a nice um, smash as well. He's become more agile in my opinion. Um, Um, Jordan, when he's moved, then he's a lot under pressure. I think his uh, his racket perhaps is going to do the trick here. You know, these conditions where talked about it earlier that the shuttles were a little bit to the slow side, uh, not too much of a drift and so on. It can be difficult to score, it can be difficult to kill it, but uh, I'm certain that uh, that does not necessarily apply to uh, probably Jordan. And the key for the opponents is always to so see if they can um, Expose Octavianti, get her out, get her away from um, the net, get her out in open play, and uh, and then also move uh, probably Jordan, get it below the tape, and get him to move before he uh, hits his shots. So far, he's actually uh, seemed to be in height. Shape moving wise. Oh. Very good start for Jordan and Thank you. 
Yeah, look at that. Two really, really good shots from uh, Alimov. tape and getting Jordan to move in a bit more defensive manner instead of one time having the shovel above his shoulders. <laughs> yeah, that's well played. It's intimidating to uh, okay. so, okay. to just be directly across him placement of the first yeah. smash as well a bit up uh, yeah. the shoulder Sold his partner totally there. So no chance of escaping and uh, three point advantage for Jordan and uh, Ottavianti. Smash. 
Seven dollar. Eleven fourteen. And the back return by Konietova. Uh, Alimov is uh, totally gone there. It's because the racket movement of um, Jordan showed a cross smash, but uh, by twisting the racket head just in the nick of time, he still played it straight. And Alimov uh, had no chance of uh, changing direction. at the net, that's not so easy, but um, it's much better than pushing. Mm, second serve here after the interval from um, Octavianti that has been uh, punished right away. First time was by Tamietova. Oh, that's lucky. <laughs> There could easily have been sixteen old. She was coming forward. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. <laughs> was his racket gone? Yeah, his racket was gone that way. He wanted his partner's racket. Uh, probably enjoyed. <laughs> he tries to grab it with his left hand. <laughs> I don't feel that they've um, played sort of exceptionally well, but they've just gotten it done. So first game here has been a day at the office, so to speak. And there it is, first time we're asking. Twenty-one fifteen and uh, 14 minutes of play, and Russia is still not done. Uh, Taking a game in this uh, overall team tie.
Second game here from uh, from in Jordan. Big good match. Fantastic generation in that attack by the uh, from in Jordan. Again, uh, it's the last two. So when you get into a good position, just make sure that you can play the next one. It's the first two variations: the cross smash and the block that um, created uh, an increasingly worse reply from uh, the opponents and uh, set up the opportunity. One, two, three. Seven, seven, five, six, three, six, three. Indonesia, Hong Kong, Indonesia. Seven, seven, three. Tournament on one side. That's the only time they've won the uh, title of the Sudirman Cup. They finished runners up six times and uh, seven times of the year. Uh, Set it for bronze, so I feel that uh, they believe, and rightly so, in my opinion, that they have a good chance of um, challenging for the title this year. Here, Russia. National Badminton Federation of Russia, and on the other hand, he is representing the National Badminton Federation of Russia. We begin to try and create uh, an upset against the uh, Denmark the match that will be played uh, tomorrow evening, or also Indonesia will play. Canada. That was lucky for Davietova. She risked both her eyes there by moving forward. So we moved directly into the racket of uh, Praveen Jordan. Early in that rally, 
Perry Marie, an impressive play by him. Tiganti, the way she's sort of been committed, totally committed to play the net with all the chances there. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Eventually, the fold is called, but I think actually it's called because uh, the umpires, so the two Indonesian players, pretty much stop. You can see there. I mean, Jordan is looking up, saying, when are you calling the fault? And the thing is, it's very difficult for him. Uh, he cannot call it if he doesn't see it. That's why you never see players, very rarely see players say, and I touched it because they know that okay, maybe the next time the opponent touches it, uh, the umpire won't see it and uh, the point is gone. So we take what's out there and let the umpires decide and uh, believe that it's all evening out in the end. Here because I'm really curious as to what's going to happen. We can see that then um, uh, Meinick, no, not Rex, Richard Meineke, the longtime uh, men's doubles head coach, he's retired now, uh, sort of done, not sort of retired, he's retired, but he's, he's handed it over to uh, Noah Vidianto, who is now in charge of the mixed doubles department. And, and what, what's Noah going to do with this mixed double here? Obviously, they have a very, very high top level but um, um, is it uh, is it something that can be um, uh, sort of reliable so to speak can you predict when the top level is there uh, they won the all England but the world championships in 18 lost in the second round 2019 lost in the second round as well to peak tabling at the Olympics didn't really get their game going uh, is it, is it something that can be trusted or the selection as backup mixed up uh, in this tournament? Uh, Peter Hanitas and Rina uh, Vivaldi, the former world junior champions, is, is that the ones that um, uh, they're moving forward now and, and banking on in the future? That, that's going uh, to be so interesting to. Um, to follow because I guess the next step is the problem must have also have taken some, um, some courage by the uh, Olympic gold for the women's double even though they were the ones winning the gold in uh, 16 by Hamada uh, and Nasir. Oh. 
It's uh, Alimov and Tavletsova with the narrowest of lead going into the uh, mid game and so here in the second game. Indonesian perspective in the next doubles um, from a uh, more European point of view. Kalimov Dalet about to be with uh, Tom Schickel, Delphine Del Rey and Christian von Boye is perhaps the future of a uh, European mixed double, if not already the present. And the big question is what Do they need to do, or what can they do to uh, really, really challenge the best um, Indonesian, Chinese, Korean, Thai pairs? Tomleto is swinging at it, and we're not going to see it. Yeah. I don't know if you saw it, but trying to swing at that smash, that's very, very difficult. Best chance is just blocking, directing it. from that position in my opinion uh, she's taking WTO I, I think when she's moved away from the net um, there's too many soft power decisions if the um, reference is um, top five in the world was too late but I mean, obviously honestly, they couldn't see any linesman calling in it was the umpire calling in why would it be too late I don't know why it's no one influenced her to say she should challenge it she just needed a second to think
starting to uh, look like a uh, straight game Indonesian victory here. I think at the moment they're very that's why they need to be really strong mentally, really focused now. Wow! <laughs> yeah, that is difficult to win when your opponent uh, launches those kind of shots. Almost stopped on the Indonesian side before tipping over. She's moved away from the double service line and she's serving the uh, optimality. But the second block is excellent. Yeah, that's clever. Come on, Limo. Jordan won't have it. He insists in his uh, attack to really good rallies here.
I think that's the that's first nice there. It must be homemade, I think. That's um, Jordan and Ottavianti, which is a uh, match point opportunity. situation because I praised him so much for playing with variation and that he dares to do it on the match point it's also what makes him the player he is so uh, just gonna accept it get on with it The arm of Opportunity for Indonesia. And there, no, it's called Y. Everybody is challenging. And if Jordan is right, then uh, it's game over. He's not just outside the line. Fantastic 
you actually meet one of the shots done, I'd be excited to do it. That one. I don't think um, Jordan was airborne there. Made all the difference. It's the uh, first opportunity for taking this second game. For the moment, uh, David Tuma. Oh, he missed it. He missed it. Orion Alimov. And, uh, the fifth match point for Jordan Oxuyanti. Oh, very well placed smash. Shot while moving. Was uh, Oxavianti was still in the process of moving backwards when uh, she should attempt a return that's very no, rarely a success. Oh. It's too short. And there it is, on the uh, sixth match point opportunity, Jordan and Oxavianti are finally uh, successful. It's a one pass S, 21-15-27-25 in uh, 41 minutes. Joy with uh, the Indonesian supporters. Satisfied with uh, what they saw here, we see the final points. That means uh, Indonesian. Uh, victory in this match but uh, more importantly also in the uh, overall tie.